Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Capre, a couple that loves to play board games. And today we'll be doing a how to play video for Papillon Gardens. A roll and write gardening game. More like a stamp and write. Ooh. Or a roll and stamp. Stamp and roll write. Stamp and write. Rolling stamping write. Stamps. Papillon Gardens is designed by J.P. Howell and illustrated by Whitney Rader. It's published by Colossal Games, who helped sponsor this video. Now what you see in this video is a prototype. The final version of the game may look different, so please refer to your rulebook and the game when you do play it, or the Kickstarter page down below, which you can check out, to learn more about this game and what it looks like. But let's head on over to the table and learn how to play Papillon Gardens. As always, you'll begin by setting up. Each player will receive two garden sheets and a pencil. You'll flip one of your garden sheets so you'll have a garden and a fill sheet. You'll set aside the stamps and prepare the feature tiles. You'll place all the starting feature tiles marked with an A in the center of the play area, along with two random B tiles, one C tile, and one D tile. You'll then shuffle and separate the garden cards into three decks of 12 cards each, flipping over a card from each of the decks. Finally, you'll assign and roll a caterpillar die to each of the cards drawn. Before you start playing, each player will choose one of the butterfly spaces in their starting fields and fill in the butterfly, indicating the starting position of their butterfly. You're now ready to play. Your goal in this game is to score the most points. You'll do this by adding flowers to your garden, creating patches of flowers, enclosing your patches in brick, filling in butterflies, attracting critters, and building features. Papillon Gardens is played over 10 rounds. At the beginning of each round, you'll mark off a new round at the top of your garden sheet. Even numbered rounds will provide a bonus action to resolve before rolling the dice. After resolving the bonus action if there is one, you'll flip new cards and roll a die for each card flipped. Each player will now choose a card and an associated die and take the corresponding three actions. One for the symbol in one of the corners, one for the center symbol, and one for the action on the die. You may choose the order in which you take these actions, and multiple players can take the same set of actions. Now let's go over all the actions. Let's start with the garden card bonus effects, the corner symbols. This symbol allows you to add a feature. You'll choose one of the features in the center of the playing area and draw them in an empty field plot in your garden. A tiles are basic tiles included in every game. Some score points while others provide immediate effects. B tiles provide an effect at the time that they are added to your garden. C tiles provide additional ways to score flowers, while D tiles provide additional ways to score butterflies. This symbol allows you to fill in a space. You'll choose a single bubble in your fill sheet in the critter or flower track and fill it. If you fill a space with a symbol, you'll immediately resolve any bonuses obtained from that symbol. These bonuses will include stamping the corresponding flower, drawing a critter, moving your butterflies, or activating the gnome bonus, which provides you a choice of the following bonus effects. Stamp one flower of any color, move a butterfly, add a field, add two brick edging, or fill one critter space. Lastly, this symbol allows you to place brick edging. You'll draw up to two lines in the spaces between the plots. These represent edging around your flower plots and will provide a scoring bonus if you fully enclose a flower patch with brick edging. Now what is a flower patch? When you have at least three contiguous plots containing the same color of flower stamp, it becomes a flower patch. Flower patches cannot grow through brick edging, so two plots of the same color divided by bricks will not form a flower patch. Now let's look at the garden action effects, the center symbol. Flowers will give you the opportunity to stamp a flower of the corresponding color in an empty plot in your garden sheet. A butterfly will grant you butterfly movement. You'll choose a plot with a filled in butterfly space, and then in a straight line fill in up to three butterfly spaces. Another action you may see is a butterfly paired with a field symbol. This action will grant you butterfly movement along with two fields to add to your garden. We've gone over the cards, now it's time to look at the caterpillar dice. The caterpillar dice will provide a few caterpillars in addition to other effects. Before we focus on the caterpillars, let's look at the other effects. Other effects on the dice include placing a field, filling in the space, or obtaining brambles. Brambles must be placed in your garden. 
They'll be placed in an empty plot if one is available. However, if every plot is full, you'll overwrite one of the plots in your garden with a bramble. When a bramble is drawn in a plot containing a feature, it'll cancel out whatever was in that plot previously. The only exception is butterflies. Brambles do not overwrite butterfly spaces that have been filled in. The caterpillars you get from the dice will be marked in the caterpillar track. The caterpillar track will occasionally provide you gnome actions. Here they are as a reminder. You'll keep playing taking bonus actions during even rounds and choosing a card with a die taking the three corresponding actions each round until 10 rounds have passed. You're now ready for final scoring. You'll score one point for each plot containing a flower, one point for each flower in a flower patch, one victory point for each flower in a flower patch fully enclosed by brick, one point for each filled in butterfly space, victory points for each critter you've placed, victory points for each scoring feature you've placed, and finally three victory points for each unique feature in your garden. The player with the most points wins. Will you roll up with the best garden out there? Butterfly, butterfly. Damn. Now, if you have any questions about the game, feel free to leave us a comment down below. We'd be happy to answer them. And make sure to check out the crowdfunding link. We'll link it at the very top of our description, right over there. And for our question of the day, let us know. What has been your favorite butterfly experience? Butterfly experience? Oh my goodness, yes, I wanna know. If have you ever been in the fields and just like been spinning and there's just butterflies everywhere and it's like a tornado of butterflies? All I can picture is like dogs meeting butterflies for the first time and just being like very gentle with them. It's very cute. That's very cute. Mm -hmm. I just pictured eating a moth and that wasn't a very good experience. You know when you just bike yeah, and then all yeah, of a sudden yeah. it just flies in your mouth? Cause you're biking like this. Why would you think of that? Because it happened to me. Because you're biking and having such a wonderful time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> then moth in the mouth. Who knew? Well, thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.